Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on the probability of mutually exclusive events. Now the first thing I need to define is what mutually exclusive events are. And they're just simply events, like things that happen, that can't happen at the same time. So let's write that down. Mutually exclusive events can't happen at the same time. And what do I mean by an event? An event is just some particular outcome that happens um, or, or collection of outcomes that happen. For example, it might be throwing a heads on a fair coin or an unfair coin. It might be, for example, spinning a green on a spinner. It might be winning the lottery. It might be throwing an odd number on a dice, for example, which would be more than one outcome. And the other key fact that we need to know is that the probability of all mutually exclusive events sum to one. So the total probability for any scenario we have is also one. Now what do I mean by all mutually exclusive events? Well it's all the things that can happen. So if I throw a coin, what well, all the things that could happen? Well I could throw a heads or I could throw a tails. And what this is saying is that the probability of throwing heads and the probability of throwing tails has to add up to one. So, so if we were to do a little table and we were to put heads, I'll just put H for heads and T for tails, now we're told that the probability of getting heads, because it's not a fair coin, is 0.6. So what is the probability of getting tails? Well, these two have to add up to 1 according to this. So that would have to be, well, if we subtract 0.6 from 1, if we do that, 1 minus 0.6, we get 0.4. So that's 0.4 and that is the answer. Let's just check, 0.6 plus 0.4, they add up to 1 the probability of all mutually exclusive events sub to one. Now what about this one? We've got a spinner, and it's a shame I don't have colored pens, but anyway, um, we've got red, green, and blue. The probability of getting red is 0.4, the probability of getting blue is 0.15, and we're trying to find the probability of getting green. Now X, by the way, is a variable just representing the different possible uh, outcomes that we might have. And P of X just means the probability of getting that particular outcome. So the probability of getting red, the probability of getting blue, the probability of getting green. Now again, by this law here, all our probabilities have to sum to one. So if we add up these two so far, we got 0.4 plus 0.15 is equal to 0.55. And then we just subtract that from one to find the remaining probability if they all have to add up to one. So we just do one minus 0.55 and that is 0.45. So that means this mystery probability here is 0.45. If we just check, if we add these up, 0.4 plus 0.15 is 0.55, plus 0.45, they add up to one, so that is correct.